Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this Patronal right here. Doth with Day of Endless Light. Uh, that feels like a day somewhere in um, in Iceland in the summer. Yeah, and the name of the band is like... Or uh, like the North Pole in the summer. The name of the band is like a German guy with speech impediment. Doth. Doth is good. <laughs> I don't even... Okay, let's just press play and, and watch the It's video. a good one, I right? mean, like, Dude, come on. It was better than anything I heard on the Joe Rogan special. Uh, it was it was, a, it was uh, on the spot. By, by, the way, by the way, Joe Rogan is so bad that he's the only comedian that uh, Carlos Mencia has not stole any material from. That's how bad he is. So, so, in my opinion, he's only good as, like, a side character in an art. Like, like you know, Kill Tony, like, being on the panel and just, like, saying a one-liner every once in a while? Yeah. He, he's good at that. Yeah, he's like, yeah. he's like, those it's, it's like, it's like, it's like Flavor Flav when, when he did a solo record. Who, nobody wants to listen to a Flavor Flav solo record. He's the hype guy for the public enemy. Like some people are just good at being the sidekick. Exactly. Would you go watch a Robin movie? No, everybody wants to see Batman. Exactly. Well, like, uh, Robin is cool in the Batman movie, but like a whole Robin that's movie? That's different though. A whole Robin movie, uh, and it's darker because he becomes something cooler after being Robin, so... I don't know about that, but There's something different my, my, my point, one. my point, I think still, still stands. It's like it's like watching Cat Williams in a movie and then watching his special. Oh. I'd rather watch him in a movie, but dude, because uh, his uh, comedic timing is on. I, I know we're getting sidetracked here, but uh, the Joe Rogan is absolutely it's, it's hor worse it's, than it's, Cat Williams. It's unwatchable because he actually repeated half of the material from <clears> a previous <throat> special, like he like he froze or he forgot or so he just went to jokes that he already had said at a previous special. It was bad. He spent most of the time screaming at the microphone. Uh, it was, it was, it's bad. It's bad. Anyhow, you ready for this? Your, your material was better. Thank you. So let's, uh, let's do this.
That solo was pinkies up. That was fucking good. Alright, now you have to take back the joke. Alright. What do you mean take back the joke? I stand by that joke. That was a good joke. Yeah, the, the joke was good. But the bend is no joke. No, but I feel bad. They got trapped in a in a the dimension of affliction. Uh <laughs> Wow, that's two jokes already in one video. Way better than the ratio at uh, the Joe Rogan special. He's technically the side character in his own podcast. Because no one goes there for him. <sighs> even in his own podcast, he says so much dumb shit, it's not even funny. You know what I like on my pizza? Pineapple and anchovies. Oh, you know what he said the other and day? And then he ordered one for him and I, he I would like, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would like to have... I would like to get fucked. But only if I was a woman. I would like to feel a guy inside of me. You said something like that. Really? Yeah. Uh, which which I'm, I'm not passing judgment. Listen, like, whatever. When it comes to, like, Joe, I mean, when it comes to Joe Rogan, honestly, and I'll give you my honest opinion, I the only thing I want to hear from him He's is... He's a little meathead. The, guy, like, no, the only thing I want to hear from him is UFC shit or fighting shit. It's the only thing I want to hear And that's how the podcast started. But that's the only thing I want to hear from him. Because... He knows that shit. Because he, he, be, he may be not all up there, but when it comes to UFC and fighting in general, boxing, UFC, whatever, f fucking, uh, just like, you know, backyard wrestling, shit like that, he knows his shit. Backyard wrestling. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But he's not a... Number one, he's not a comedian. I don't care how many times he, no, he calls himself he, a comedian. He, he's, he's not. He's a fighting sports analyst, and that's giving him a big title for what he really is. <laughs> and, and that's pretty much like the, the, the domain that he's... Uh, exactly. That, that he like, can, can control. Like, listen, listen. When he's sitting on a podcast and he's talking about John Jones and shit, I'll listen. But if he's talking about the state of the Anderson world... Anderson Silva or something like that, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll listen. Yeah, but I don't go on his podcast to get like his when, views when, when on showing, world politics or economics. When you people like fight like uh, certain fighting videos, I, I agree or, with you. or he has UFC, the UFC fighters on his podcast, I'll watch those. The, the problem is, and and we'll get to the song into the video in a minute. The problem is, we've gotten to a point that if you're if you're popular, if you're well known, suddenly your opinion about anything else matters. matters. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. But because, it doesn't. Because for me, Joe Rogan became a human being like five years ago. Because I thought he was Dana White for so long. <laughs> because it's like, because it, like if if you meet if you meet a, a brain surgeon, right? The, the things that you can ask him about about brain surgery, those are really interesting because it comes from a place of expertise. Uh -huh. Anything you ask him about anything else is just an opinion. If I go up to, it's just an opinion, go up to Neil and it's worth as much as mine. If I go up to Neil deGrasse Tyson and ask him about the world and the universe, I'm gonna get a nice like hour or more. Of, of of amazing like you know like him teaching me. Yeah. But if I ask him, hey, what should I do on a first date? I don't fucking care what he thinks. Yeah. Like if when 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 I spend time with our good friend Gunnar and I ask him about Viking history and all of that shit, I get knowledge. I don't sit there and ask him about like you know uh, uh, sex positions, which one is easier to achieve an orgasm. Mm, I don't know about that one. That's not his cup of tea. Because then he's gonna respond with, well, the ancient Vikings used this. <laughs> But okay. If that's how he's answering my question, then I still want to know. I still want to know. I still want to know. So, uh, on all of that, let's get back into this with Doth and uh, Day of Endless Light. Later, though? Huh? I feel like for everyone who... who, Because uh, now I watch like, the fights for UFC and stuff. Um, but I feel like people who don't watch it, they think that Joe Rogan and Dana White are the same person. Moving on from that, uh, I, w one, one more thing I want to say about this, and that's and, and, uh, just to finish off this topic, because I really want to talk about the song and video, because this song is glorious. Um, I, I found myself now watching podcasts of people I don't agree with. I don't watch podcasts of people that I already have a similar view, because I don't learn anything from it. Okay. I'm just re-emphasizing my opinion. Uh, the... Uh... My brain fucked up there. For a minute, I thought you said that you don't listen to people who have other opinions. No, I only listen to people, people who, have, who have, a, have an opposite opinion of mine. Because if I only listen to people... Why would I listen to a person who I already agree with? We're already on the same page. So I have nothing to learn from that discussion. But I have a lot to learn from a person who has a completely different view from mine. Or even people who I agree with 5% of what they say, but not 95 so I, I because I, I'm intrigued by where did they got to the other 95? I'm intrigued by it. So I find myself watching podcasts and constantly rolling my eyes because I don't agree with it. But I find it really intriguing, and and I and it also helps me develop my own opinions. Because sometimes you listen to something, and you're like, you hey, wait listen, a minute, you listen to both sides before having an opinion. Yeah, and nobody go like, hey, wait a minute, that 
That is intriguing. That makes sense. I, you know, I may not agree with everything you set up until that point, but that nugget. I may, I may not intriguing. agree with the process, but the end result. It's like uh, it's like you know sausages and, and meat products. I may not. Fully agree. Fuck, I don't even want to know how those are. I, 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 I just, may not agree with the process, but just God damn, dogs. give me a hot dog. I just like. want a hot dog sausage uh, when we leave the Rebel. Exactly. I, that's all I want. I may, I, may not, I may not agree with the, 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 the what's happening, but the end product is delicious. Yeah, so, so. On, on, yeah, on that note, let's talk about the band that sounds like a dyslexic German kid. So, uh, not dyslexic. I mean, uh, is that a, what you said? You no, said I said it, he's a German, speech impediment. It's speech impediment. Uh, very close. And then we're um, stuck in affliction, <laughs> the world of affliction. If 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 affliction was a was a parallel universe to ours, uh, it didn't have it didn't have uh, Jose Mangan in there. I feel like he. Uh, I think he needs to he be there. He has affliction flip flops. Fuck! I feel like uh, I feel like he's afflicted with affliction. He has affliction flip flops, underwear, socks. Fucking jeans. Tattoos. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like affliction tattoo is the barbed wire tattoo. If you have the barbed wire tattoo... Or, right or here, a tramp stamp. Or tramp guys with tramp guys stamps. Guys with tramp stamps, yeah. yeah. And uh, when we say tramp stamp, we don't mean like on your ass. I mean like on your back, like around here. That's the male tramp stamp. I've seen some guys also the one by the ass. Well, which, both. which is, I find it a little weird. I find it a little... Yeah, it's each their own. But I will say the one on the back, like the one on the, where your traps On the shoulders. Are, yeah, where your traps are in the, sh the shoulder area. Uh, that and the barbed wire tattoo. Normally comes with uh, a mesh hat and a truck. And, uh, and, like, and a sleeveless shirt. Yeah. Like the Shawn Michaels. And, and uh, all that remains t-shirt. All right. So <laughs> on that note, let's get back into this. Uh, Doth, uh, Day of Endless Light. Is this anything that you expected it to be? No, when it started, I was like, ah, oh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. But when I, saw, vocals... I, saw, I, I, I saw you there, and you're tensing up. Yeah. Like the same way I do when I go on a roller coaster ride, because I'm afraid of heights. You're tensing up, and I'm like, fuck, this might not be his cup of tea. But then he started singing, and I'm like, fuck, I do like this. Because I, I think it's the rhythm within his vocals. But the song itself changes up when the vocals uh, come in. And There's different momentums within the yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, and the, ryth the rhythm that that is born when the vocals come in... And I just like that shit. It was groovy. It was very nice. And it, it, it helped me... Uh, the vocals reminded me a little bit of Cataclysm. Yeah. And I think that's the same thing with Cataclysm is sometimes Cataclysm, the songs will start or whatever, and I'm not... And I'm like, oh, I'm not so sure about this one. But then, you know, the vocals come in and a sense of groove and rhythm uh, joins Takes over. the song. And I'm like, damn, okay, this is good. This is good. But that's because it, it's... You know, a math equation needs everything to have the, you know, everything to get the answer, right? I can't have... You need all your X's and Y's. I need all the X's, the Y's, you know, to find out this parabola. But if, if, there's no, if there's no X and Y, what the fuck am I doing here? It's definitely not a Pythagorean theorem without the X and the Y. We can't talk about math. I'm doing calculus and it's killing me. Um, one number at a time. One number at a there's time. There's barely numbers. It's like... Just all... I, I, I was always a big fan of math, actually. You have a calculus? I, I did calculus. I did trig, I did calculus, I did all of that shit. Dude, I graduated from college with a diploma wow. in computer science, so math is a huge portion of, of that. You know, at, like, when I finished grade 12, people were like, fuck, I don't have to take math anymore. I'm like, more math. And, and I went into the program that had the most. Well, not the one that had the most. There's, like, engineering and shit like that has even more. But oh, So I'm no. not going to sit here and claim that, that mine had the most, but had it quite a bit a anyhow I, uh, agree engineering, so yeah. I, I I agree with everything that you that you uh, said mm -hmm. uh, the only thing I'm gonna say for me that I've heard I heard the I've heard of the name of the band I just actually never heard any of their songs you see what I'm saying like mm -hmm. I see their name here and there but I've just never heard any of their songs when I see the drummer standing up at the beginning of the song he's standing up he's not sitting He's standing up. The first couple of hits, he's standing. Then he sits down. To, to The moment I saw the drummer standing up, I'm like, I don't know where these guys are going with this, but that 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 is something. That is something. So I was, I was impressed with that. For and me, then, I was intrigued with the, the onslaught of the double pedaling. The double pedaling was fast as shit. Dude, the guy's a ph phenomenal drummer. Uh, like, I don't know him from, from nowhere, but the fact that he was standing up to me was like, okay, this guy, like, you have to have a certain ability for you to pull off things that bring attention onto you. And the fact that he's standing up there before he gets started, I was like, holy shit, this drummer, like, 
like, you know, he's like, keep the camera on me kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, and the drumming throughout the track was phenomenal. But the grooviness of the guitars, whenever those guitars hit with that distortion, I grew up on that shit. That, that to me is my bread and butter. Any song that has that sort of guitar sound, I'm all in. And this song had a bunch. Squeeze in in between some more heavier, almost more pure death metal sound and experience. But that, that th those groovy riffs there, fuck, they were so good. And then the vocals and everything almost brought uh, almost like a hardcore feel in into the song. The song was groovy, but it had some death metal, it had some hardcore elements. It was kind of like a blend of different genres, but a blend that worked really well. And I was wondering, for a song that is this hard hitting, that is this groovy, that is this heavy, how are they going to push this to 4 minutes and 34 seconds? Because when it got to the 2 minute mark, they already had repeated the verse, chorus, verse, chorus twice. So I'm like, what the fuck, are they going to do this 4 times? No, then they came up with a Pinkies Up solo, mm -hmm. very classy, very proggy uh, almost, which was a complete departure from the rest of the song. And they created enough pockets of clarity that allowed the song to be pushed to four, uh, four minutes and 34 seconds without sounding repetitive or feeling boring. Like, this, this is a great fucking song. I absolutely love the vocals, love the sound, not a big fan of the Affliction um, uh, yeah. you know, uh, no, I was gonna say the, the Affliction Parallel Universe, not a big fan of that. I probably would not survive that very long. <clears throat> um, it gets redundant fast, I know, but I, but it, my fear is that if, if you live too long in an Affliction Parallel Universe, eventually it might turn into a Ned Hardy oh, shit. parallel universe because I feel like those two there's a wormhole that connects the Ed Hardy parallel universe to the Infliction parallel universe. Mm -hmm. And we just need a black hole to get rid of both. Yeah. Apparently. I mean, nobody's ever came back from a black hole to tell us how it went. Exactly. Apparently sucks matter in, right? Like, in, sucks it in, distorts it. You die, it. you die. I'm sure, I'm sure you... I'm sure you die. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you're not going to show up in another place or in another... Uh, yeah, this is not know. TV shows where they get sucked into a black hole and then, oh my God, I'm back on Earth, but it's like, like 70 years later. Or, or or back. Or back. Yeah, yeah, or back. Yeah, that only happens in, uh, in Hollywood, not in real life. When you get sucked into a black hole, nothing good comes from it. When you said Hollywood, I, immediately I was about to say, I'm dead, better get... You know. Anyways, uh... They have nothing to do with this. I know. And nothing... Oh, I mean, they were in the time of affliction. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I, I feel... They I were feel part like... of that era. Affliction is still around now. Yeah, but it's not as popular as it was. Yeah, well, same as Ed Hardy. Yeah, exactly. We're, 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 we've moved further away from those two parallel Funny universe. enough, though, affliction is really expensive now. So is that Hardy? But, yeah, but I, don't know, <laughs> one is I, I don't remember if they were expensive back in the day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were always expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I it's, thought it was a champion. Like, like dude, a Ned, back in the day, a Ned Hardy t-shirt was like the price of a regular t-shirt at a, a metal concert you, now. Yeah. Which, back in the day, that's a lot of money. Because back in the day, let's say you went to see Exodus. A t-shirt was 25 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. And a Hardy t-shirt was like 60 bucks. Okay. Now, basically, with 60 bucks, you can buy a Blind Guardian tour t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Well, so. no. Wasn't yeah. it more? No, no. The t-shirts were 60. Was 60. It was 60. Yeah, yeah. The hoodies was like 150 or something. Yeah. I thought it was Still a... cheaper than a, than a, than a bath signed vinyl. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a, the whole champion thing where it was really cheap in the 90s, but then now it's really expensive. Yeah, it was... It was. I mean, it wasn't really cheap, but it was cheaper than it is now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's one of those... Uh, but it, now it almost became a retro uh, brand, and that's why the price is what it is. It's like... like uh, FIBA or whatever that FILA FIBA FIBA is the, uh, the basketball. basketball association FIBA. in Europe uh, FILA yeah. yeah it's one of those things it's a throwback but anyhow uh, final thoughts for Doth and Day of the Endless uh, Light I enjoyed it I enjoyed it it took a while but it, it was enjoyable I, I don't think I have to say that I enjoyed it because people could watch it I exactly. think I think they noticed that I was having a great time I really love this shit so by the way thank you to the Patrono that requested this really appreciate it and I'll see you all at the next video see ya